So we all know that this commander's team has a long way to go before they are probably in, in consideration for much of anything. Despite the good record this season, I think that they aren't just a quarterback away. I think that they're going to need to get some people now because you have obviously Trey Turner and Sam Cosme. That is a young right side of your line. But everybody else here is aged quite a bit. So uh, to say the least, they have cut Carson Wentz in real life. So we will go ahead and do that. Crazy to think that he is already 30 years old. I don't care what sort of penalty we just brought upon ourselves. To be honest, I love the way that Jahan Dotson plays. Uh, Curtis Samuel as well as a free agent. I think Terry McLaurin's really good. And I really like the way that Diami Brown played this past season. And they will start Sam Howell at quarterback next season. That is if we cannot find ourselves in a good place to take one. I do think he deserves a little bit higher than a 65 overall, to say the least. Like maybe in the 68 area. I don't know, 67 range, somewhere around there. Bobby McCain at free safety with Percy Butler right there as well. Derek Forrest, who kind of had a breakout season as well. With Cameron Curl missing a little bit of time. Jamin Davis, Cole Holcomb, who's getting a little bit older now. David Mayo, probably, hopefully, you won't play as much. Maybe even John Bostic can slide over there at worst case scenario. David Mayo is probably just not quite the future of this team. You're going to need a corner. Kendall Fuller is old. Your next best guy is St. Juice. And then you've also got, I, I couldn't even tell you this guy's first name. That's that's kind of how irrelevant that this team has been this year. Very untalked about. Fedarian Mathis, the older defensive tackle out of Alabama, 25 years of age, came out at the he came out of the draft at age 24. So yeah, you've got a lot to work with for the, with this team for sure. Uh, your defensive line is huge and, and it's one of the best in the league if you can retain it. So we'll go ahead and see who we can re-sign right here with, uh, with the re-signs to go. Deron Payne, I don't know how you can let someone like him slip. I think that we've got to sign him to the biggest deal we can. Uh, and I think that I'll secure it by doing this right here. Offer is perfect. He's around for the next seven years. Cole Holcomb, only 27. I'd be more than happy to have him around as well. So maybe you don't even have to go that high with the salary or whatever. So that is also a really good deal right there. Trey Turner, never mind. I thought Trey Turner was a lot younger, but you know who I'm thinking of? It's the guy on the Bears who I'm thinking of. That's a lot um, younger. Trey Turner, no interest in coming back, really. Um, I don't think that that would be a realistic shot. JD McKissick, same thing. Not really... Worried about any anybody else here. Wes uh, Schweitzer, not not either. That's probably not how you even say his name, by the way, as well. So I'm sorry, Schweitzer, if I'm <laughs> absolutely butchering that. So let's head into free agency, address some needs. We have a lot of them, and one of them definitely isn't running back. I don't think Brian Robinson ha was worthy of the starting role, despite whatever the commanders thought. Obviously, they wanted him to play a role this season, and that kind of is what it is. Kareem Hunt here is is fun, but like I just said, the last position of need was was that. And uh, Danny Dimes being here is interesting. Jacoby Bursett to kind of come in and play. But I think I want Sam Howell starting. I don't think that we have any issue against that. So, yeah, we got Brian Robinson and Antonio Gibson with Jarrett Patterson right behind them. Um, obviously, you lose J.D. McKissick. It really just comes down to those top two guys. We have the opportunity to bring in Damian Harris now, but I don't think it's really worth it. It's like three of the same people. Not like... Obviously not really, but same people like age-wise and whatnot like that. I've got a little something on my monitor. Just got to take it off there. Boo Boo do, does have interest, and that does interest me. I thought Curtis Samuel was a free agent. I heard somewhere that he was, so apparently not. So not in need of receiver right now for sure. Tight end could use one, though. Um, Logan Thomas being your best option at his age is just completely crazy to me. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a deal done here with Mike Gesicki, the tight end out of Penn State, honestly was not a uh um it's not a knower of that knowledge for sure and then here i like a few of these deals right here eric flowers elijah wilkinson david edwards probably the most intriguing just because of how young he was if Connor mcgovern had some interest i'd be interested back i want david edwards i was going to say on like a one-year deal maybe a rental just for this season to come plug in and play ethan post it should we have at our uh, okay chase rulier Rulier. I, I could be wrong with both of those. Don't have Trey Turner. Nate Davis, I have huge interest in. I'd be more than willing to give him my entire bank account. Uh, we have a lot of money free right now as well because of the Carson Wentz uh, cutting as well. Terrence Steele, Steel, who played tremendous this last season, can go play left tackle for us. Well, Cam or Sam Cosme continues to develop over here on this side. So Terrence Steele will also be a priority. Leaves us out of four out of five. Probably could use someone in the linebacker like spot, that range. 
Rashawn Evans could be fun. Bobby O'Carrick can move him out. He's got a lot of speed behind him as well. I think that that will be the deal. I think maybe uh, go for a long-term deal or a longer-term deal. And that would be with Bobby Okereke. Luckily, not paying him as an outside linebacker right now. I will look for a better fit still, though. I don't think Kaiser White's a better fit. Corner, you're going to need, but you don't really have the tools you, you want right now. So maybe look for the draft and the second wave of free agents. Free safety, you do need if you don't slide Derek Forrest over. I don't know Derek Forrest's stats, but I will check those out. And then we can maybe make a decision in the draft. After that, but we go to targeted, go to top 100. Mike Asiki, Bobby Okereke, Terrence Steele, Nate Davis, and David Edwards all up for grabs and all interested in the team. Who did we get? Bobby Okereke. We got everyone except Mike Asiki, it looks like. I don't know how Mike Asiki gets stolen from us. If Robert Tanyan is still here, he's not. And Hayden Hurst is already 30 years of age. That is wild to me. That is very crazy. Guess we'll have to pick one up in the draft. Worst case scenario, worst comes to worst. And then uh, here, um, yeah, if Roxy, Rocky Scene was still here, then maybe uh, 26, Isaiah Oliver, Oliver, Oliver. I don't know why I said Oliver. Uh, Sean Murphy Bunting, uh, just fun, good player, I guess, solid. Uh, he's got good numbers, good stats, long time uh, commander wannabe here now. So we're going to put up a very big deal on him, apparently. I guess that's a, a big deal. And then at free safety. So we do have Bobby McCain at 30. Worst comes to worst. But like I said, I don't know what sort of stats or, or what sort of, you know, things that whatever his face, uh, not Bobby McCain. I don't know. I'm speaking out of my butt. Derek Forrest brings um, <clears throat> Sean Murphy Bunting. Hopefully, yes, is a commander. Good to see. Good to see for sure. And we don't need any more tight end. What else don't we need? Corner. No one really intrigues me. Free safety. Nobody anymore. Deron Harmon. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, let's move it along. Let's get to the draft. Let's uh, let's let's address some needs. Go right on in. Hop right into the draft. I think that we'll look towards something uh, a little bit more straightforward than like I've ever mocked to them. Like I've mocked Trenton Simpson, which would be tremendous at this pick. But unfortunately, I don't think he'll be here in the game because I have him rated very highly overall, uh, even after his combine. I mean, it was a great combine. There is Devin Witherspoon on the board. Definitely should not be on the board. Anthony Richardson, Jackson Smith and Jigba, Cam Smith. I, oh, Trenton Simpson is still on the board. That opens things up for us for sure. Definitely get corner later, but you can definitely not get a player like Trenton Simpson a little bit later. Jalen Hyatt, after his disappointing week at the Combine, will be lowered. I still got to do all this. Nolan Smith is going to shoot up boards for sure. But Trenton Simpson being available at this spot is just a little too good to pass up. Let's go Trenton Simpson out of Clemson. The outside linebacker, uh, off the ball linebacker is what they kind of have him pegged as. But I, I see him more. I mean, if he, he can play everywhere. Not off the edge exactly, like as a true edge rusher. He's not going to be like a Michael Parsons sort of guy, but he'll play inside very well. Like Manny Forbes here, six foot 180. Clark Phillips was also quite impressive. Dewan Jones is a fun one. Kalijah Kansi can come help play interior for us. Kayshawn Bouti, Deontay Banks. Uh, yeah, he's going to skyrocket. Uh, potential first round pick. Let's go Deontay Banks out of uh, Maryland. Tall corner. He actually ran so well. His speed is going to be up to like a 93 in my draft class here soon. So we address two needs right there. He'll play as like cornerback three. I know we could have gotten Devin Witherspoon. I would have been so happy with that. But I think Trent Simpson's overall value, it, it's just got to be a little bit higher in what we need right now. It's a little bit higher with what we need right now. Clark Phillips continues to fall. I'm a fan of Blue Kelly, but Clark Phillips being here is fun. DJ Turner. Yeah, he ran a 4-2-6, right? Tennessee's Byron Young, his he was really good as well. Really um, athletic group. Riley Moss is incredible. Tyler Scott wasn't as great as we thought. A.T. Perry was quite fun. Uh, Isaiah McGuire was cool as well. Roshan Johnson, Makai Garner was fine. I think he's actually a little bit slower than I thought. Trey Palmer was speedy. 6'1", 90. I mean, what is do I, what do I have speed at? Speed's at a 4.45? Yeah. He ran a 4.31, I think, or 4.33, something like that. I couldn't remember what the uh, correct time was or what the official time was, so that was a little annoying. A lot of corners towards the top of the board here. Not quite sure what I even want at the, at the time right now. Like, obviously, should have taken a wide receiver or someone else last pick because there are plenty of uh, whatever on the board. We do need a free safety. But it's just kind of a who is the next best guy at free uh, free safety. I mean, Ronnie Hickman, give me him. 
give me Ronnie Hickman. I see him a media. I'm taking him. Ohio State's best. Ronnie Hickman, free safety. Um, 6'1", 209, 21, did not run at the combine, did not do any of the drills. It was kind of a bummer because I was really excited to see him, but never showed up, never really presented itself. So uh, Ronnie Hickman will be my pick there. We did need tight end. Crap. Uh, I should have looked at the tight ends. Maybe Davis Allen would have been there if he isn't already on the board. Davis Allen is gone, which is such a bummer. I was a big fan. Uh, Luke Shoemaker was fun. Cameron Latu. I can't even remember what I have these guys rated at, so... Uh, go ahead and kind of not skip out on them, but definitely not invest ourselves in that. Uh, that that forest fire for sure. Charlie Jones. I mean, all these guys, man. There are so many, so many receivers and corners that I have in this draft draft class. I was a fan of KJ Henry. Um, I guess we could kind of stash him for later. That's fine with me. Outside linebacker versatility or off the ball linebacker versatility. I think I could be wrong. Looked like a little bit of a smaller dude at two fifty five and can move quite well for his size. So. We'll go with KJ Henry, but whether or not I'm right about what I have him pegged as, I'm, I'm not sure. So you guys can smart acidly uh, correct me in the comments if you guys would like. That is completely fine to me. Clark Phillips has fallen all the way from round one to two to now. Talk about good Madden draft classes, ladies and gentlemen, are just the way that Madden logic works. Let's go Clark Phillips in the sixth round. Doesn't make sense, but let's take a look at the team after we're all done or look at these new prospects. And we'll hit draft recap, see what we got here. Trenton Simpson, 76 overall. Deontay Banks, 72 overall. Ronnie Hickman, 73. KJ Henry, 70. Clark Phillips, 72. Austin Stonger, or Sto Stogner, Stogner as well at the bottom of the world. I'm not sure if Stogner is even a real player, but... It is what it is. We'll move to next season, go to regular season, set the team up, and then we'll simulate to the midseason and then the playoffs, see how this team does. So here's the team. Starting with Sam Howell, we go to Brian Robinson, but I do like Antonio Gibson probably a tad bit more. Jahan Dotson, Curtis Samuel, Terry McLaurin, pretty fun group. And then defensively, I want Ronnie Hickman starting at free safety with the drop-off of Bobby McCain, uh, despite being a good player still at this point, just a little too old. Uh, and Ronnie Hickman comes in and plays. Kendall Fuller's fun. Sean Murphy bunting. And then Deontay Banks can play uh, up from Brian St. Juice there for a second. Or I guess for the for the season. Trenton Simpson will outplay Bobby O'Karakey. I'm not sure quite what we'll do with him. We'll start him at middle linebacker, I guess. Him and Trenton can kind of roam the middle of the field. They don't even have Simpson as a sub linebacker. That is going to have to change for sure. Uh, and then they have Forrest as the slot corner. I guess St. Juice can take that over. It works for me, I, I guess. It'll have to. And then specialists on the defensive line. Chase Allen off of one edge. Montez off the other. And then these two up the interior. I wouldn't have it any other way. KJ Henry already, though. Looking pretty good. Um, Jahan Dawson in the slot is fun. And I think that he could take that step. So I will move him up to wide receiver two. Uh, fan of Curtis Samuel. Love what he did this year as well. But I don't think that uh, his ceiling's quite as high as what Jahan Dotson's looks like right now. But I will definitely go ahead and put Trenton Simpson in the sub linebacker spot. I'll see you guys at the midseason mark, though. And we start three and four. It's not ideal, but I mean, I don't know what to really, what I really expected headed into this one. Sam Howell's do. Uh, Sam Howell is having one hell of a season already, though. 1,900 yards, 12 touchdowns, to so four interceptions. I'll take that all day. Completing 70% of his passes. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good. Brian Robinson also fine. Uh, not too far for Antonio Gibson as well. And I think with more carries, Antonio Gibson could get a little bit better. And then receiving wise, Terry McLaurin leading the team. Jahan Dodson right there. Logan Thomas, Curtis Samuel, Antonio Gibson. John Bates is next up. That is a little bit interesting. No Curtis Samuel on there. Bobby O'Karakey and Trenton Simpson, who has 15. Okay, I thought that was 15 TFLs for a second. Would have been screwed up. But Chase, uh, whoa, Chase Young, <laughs> 10 TFLs. Uh, Deron Payne has six TFLs, four TFLs for Trenton Simpson, getting getting down in the trenches, doing good. Jonathan Allen, six or four tackles for loss. I was about to call him six four. I've been talking about the combine heights and weights a little too much. And then during uh, you know during the season, though the first half of the season, these guys have accumulated six sacks, three sacks, two and a half, one and a half right there, uh, and interceptions for Saint Just and Bobby Okereke. So no turnovers whatsoever. We'll see the number overall like on the defense. I don't think it's really that great. Oh, everything's good. We have actually the number one defense in the league. That is fun. That is really good to know as well. Uh, as we will probably continue to build. Should we look at death traits now? Probably not. Just keep it moving. Who do we have? Cole Holcomb. Uh, we have some offers on. 
probably would take that if I was doing like a rebuild or something, but too late now. And I really think this team really has or would have something depending uh, on Sam Howell's QB play. Because if he comes out and plays really well immediately, which obviously is what you hope for, but is a very low chance of happening, he might play a little too conservative for your taste or whatever. You kind of got to let him unlock that offense. And I think you can do that over time. I don't think that you guys can just make a one-year assumption on someone like Sam Howell comes out, say he doesn't quite ball out, but say he doesn't really suck and he shows glimpses. Let him keep playing. Don't don't just take him out and count him out after one season. I don't think that you're really in a win now window, or I guess you are, but not if you guys flunk next season. Then I think that some Washington Commanders fans would be a little mad on uh, some situations, but management right now, Dan Snyder and all that stuff happening. I don't even want to get into that train wreck. That is a video of its own. Did not quite make the playoffs. Did go nine and eight though. Had a very solid season beforehand. I will go to the Super Bowl and talk a little bit more about this franchise. Um, they, they've been good as of late. I'm not saying that this franchise is dog crap and, and can't really do anything. Uh, the coaching, I love Ron Rivera as a coach. And I think I like what he might be able to mock up with Sam Howe. But it's a matter of how long you're going to stick with it and how long you're going to tolerate if it is bad. But if it's great immediately, obviously that's best case scenario. Do you force a winning like season and team upon him? Like, do you really say, no, we've got to go out and win every week. We're going to make the Super Bowl now. I, I Realistically, I don't think that they can win a Super Bowl next year, uh, despite, you know, even if they have not elite QB play, but above average QB play from their guy. I don't think that you can really say that. But it is what it is. Uh, franchise, it all might come down to how, how Sam Howell does. But uh, in the simulation so far, up quite a bit, up to a 69 overall, 70 with morale, Logan Thomas is quite good. Uh, Jahan Dotson didn't really get anything. No noticeable, you know, dev trade upgrades, which is kind of disappointing for Sam Howell. I was hoping for that. Um, Trenton Simpson in red now. Chase Young in red now. And uh, Ronnie Hickman as well is just a star development player. Deontay Banks somehow didn't get uh, whatever. Uh, oh, it's really close to being revealed. 28 more snaps and would have had it. And is up to a 75 overall. So... Uh, Deontay Banks ceiling looks pretty high right now and depending on his uh the whatever development trait as well superstar development not superstar if it was okay I'm done uh, Sam Howell 4,400 yards 29 touchdowns to 11 interceptions completing 67 percent of his passes pretty good Brian Robinson as well was fine not my you know go-to guy there exactly but Sam Howell was also pretty good on the ground uh, not fumbling the ball once. Jahan Dotson ended up leading the team at the end of the season with 1,100 yards on 77 catches, though. Significantly less than Terry McLaurin. Uh, and, and the most touchdowns at nine. Fourth, uh, four more than the next best. I need to go to bed, dude. Uh, Trenton Simpson finishes 94 tackles. Six TFLs, one and a half uh, QB sacks, and an interception on the season. Very good season from him. Chase Young looks pretty good as well. And these defensive linemen did did pretty good at getting to the quarterback as well. Seven and a half sacks from Jonathan Allen from the interior. Montez Sweat is with eight. Chase Young with 11. And Deron Payne, more of a space-eating uh, defensive tackle. So pretty good to see this team succeed. That will be all for me. Hopefully you guys can enjoy the video and enjoy other videos as well. Will Levis, if you look at the right side of your screen, went for the second most yards in the league this, this past season, apparently. This is all hypothetically and allegedly. That'll be all. Hopefully you guys can consider liking and subscribing, especially if you watched all the way to this point. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll have to see you guys next time then. Bye.